hello to will be solving another little problem that is to sum the problem statement states that given an array of integers nums and an integer target return indices of the two numbers such that the add up to target we may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and we may not use the same element twice and we can return the answer in any order so let's take this question white so the intuition behind this problem is basically find the target minus the difference and check if it's present there or not so uh, basically let, let's check the problem statement again with the examples that is we are given nums and the target this and we have to select Two elements of the two uh, elements in the array which will add up to my target. So here we have the seven is equal to nine, and this is uh, what we have to return the indices of this. So what we can do here is that we can take an unordered map, which is in C plus plus it is maps. So we will take that, and we will store the array, array element with the indices of it. So I'll take to here and store the indices with it. We'll take 7 here and store the indices with it. We'll take 11 here and we'll store with the indices of it. Same with 15. So we have all the elements here in my unordered map. Yes, we have an unordered map here and now we can go to the main problem solving part that is how we will get the target value in the in order map so first what we'll do is first we'll iterate from 0 to the n that is the terms of size and then we'll check in the unordered map that if in my unordered map let's say let me just name it as mp the unordered map is called mp here so I'll just check if my in MP, if I cannot find the target minus, that is, I will check that if I find target that is 9 here minus the nums of i. So the nums of i, so this is my nums of i. You just please understand it okay i cannot uh, too much with the mouse here i'm very bad, bad with it no, that okay. so this is target minus nums of i so first here we will check if the target minus nums of i is so 9 minus 2 that is 7 is the difference present in my unordered map right now we have not added these elements here mind you we will be adding it if it's not present there initially nothing will be in my unordered map that is my map is empty so this is my map right now so i am at the index zero and i'll check my target minus minus of five is present there or not it's not present there so what we'll do is we'll just simply add it to the map so we are adding here i'm just writing n here that is my array n of i in my map and this is marked with the indices i so first of all here i have inserted 2 comma 0 and now we'll move to this 7 so we'll again check my indices right now is 1 i've moved to 1 so i'll check if my target that is 9 minus 1 of 5 so 9 minus 7 is 2 present there yes it is present there so i'll simply return red i'll simply return my MP of target minus nums of i. So my MP of this target p minus nums of i comma i. So I'll just explain what this is. So MP of target minus nums of i 
will give me this value that is the zeroth index present here and i will give me my current index which was my one so this is what you have to return that is zero comma one and the time complexity will be here uh, o of n and we can have at most o of n pairs if we do not find the element so the space complexity will also be o of n Let's set the code. So here I have declared the unordered map and I am iterating to the loop to the loop till nums of nums dot size and I'll check if my target minus nums of i is present in my unordered map. So this takes care of this. This is what I am doing here in this line code that it is line number nine. And if it is present there. I am simply returning it and I am breaking out of the loop. And this is what I did here. And if it is not present there, that is, this will take care of that. MP dot point target minus nums of i is equals to nums mp dot n. So it will simply add it to my unordered map pair. This is what I have done here. This will add it to the pair. And simply, if there was some another test case for that, we will. Uh, concurrently get the answer if it's present there and if it's not we will not get the answer and i just run the code and submit it again just fine i'll just submit this again and it will be submitted okay it will be submitted and that's it for today thank you